So, <laughs> firstly, I want to say that my 30s was stolen. But anyways. <laughs> Good afternoon lovely people and welcome back to my channel so my name is April and I have been gone a hot hot minute I do apologize for that sometimes life just gets on top of you being a mom working you know trying to socialize have fun all at the same time and do YouTube it can be a lot but it doesn't matter because I am here and I am back with another video so as you can see from the title Everything we're going to be talking about today is things that I have learned since turning 30. So obviously I turned 30 in 2020. So it was COVID. It was lockdown. I didn't really get to process being 30. Like I was speaking about this with my cousin and I was like, My things were stolen. They were stolen from me. Stolen, robbed. Because... Who has time to be processing and thinking about, oh, I've just hit this milestone when people are dying and there's a virus and it's all over the news and everyone's scared, everyone's locked up in their house. Who is really processing that? Because I for sure was not. So <laughs> firstly, I want to say that my 30s was stolen. But anyways, <laughs> um, moving on, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that I learned um, now that I'm in my 30s, is that you have to be very open-minded. And it's actually quite surprising, like how much growing ass people over the age of 30, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever it may be, are so bloody judgmental. They are judgmental. Like they're not even open-minded to just be out here throwing shade and throwing their comments and throwing this. It's like, hello, 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 hello. We all have different beliefs, we all have different morals, we all have different views, we all have different opinions, you know, and it's about being open-minded to those people's views and opinions, and it's surprising how much people are not. You know, people are very judgmental, and that's not a very nice thing. You know, you don't want to feel like you're surrounded around people that are judging you or judging your choices or judging your decisions, you know. Um, I always believe in trying to understand, trying to maybe put myself in the other person's shoe, take myself out of it, because I notice a lot of the times, you know, people can get themselves caught up. Well, I wouldn't do that. But I, if it was me, well, if I was in that, well, you're not. You're not in that situation, it's the other person, so maybe try and look at it from their perspective. Be open-minded, you know? It's such a big thing, you know, because it's not nice when you feel like someone's being insensitive to something that you're telling them or something that you've experienced or something how you feel, you know? Um, the worst is when somebody's being insensitive when you're telling them about how something makes you feel, you know? So I've definitely learned to you know, be more open-minded and definitely try to put myself in the other person's shoes as best as I can, you know? Um, the second thing that I wanna talk about is to not assume, do not assume that just because people don't complain, don't moan, you know, have it all together, you know? Like, I try to be as positive as I can. I try to be as happy as I can. I try to lift myself when I feel a little bit low. But you know what? We're all humans. You're going to have down days. You're going to have days where you can't be bothered. You're going to have days where you're not even motivated. Yeah? Like the strength it has taken me to do this video is, is unbelievable. If I was to tell you all of the things I've done before until I've gotten now to film this video, you'd be like, oh my gosh, how do you have the energy to do it? But I, I've pushed myself to get this out here because I want to get content out, you know? But, you know, people are very quick to make assumptions like, oh, you know, she's doing this and she's going here and she's going work and she's doing this, she's got it all together. No, how you know people ain't crumbling on the inside? I know people ain't crying themselves to sleep. You don't know, you know, and people just make assumptions and they think you might just be here living your best life and they really do not know what is going on behind closed doors. And that's what I've gotten to realize and understand as I've gotten older is to not assume. And the reason why I say this is because I can have four or five friends, yeah? They're not all the same. Everybody is an individual. How one deals with her problems is not going to be the same how another one deals with her problems. Do you understand? There may be some of my friends that, you know, keep their problems to themselves. 
and they're more that kind of person that would deal with it and once they feel ready then we can get back to going out and talking and doing the things that we like to do and then you may have another friend that you know when it gets too much she has to offload because she needs your advice or she needs your help then you have another friend that maybe just moans and complains all the time all the time all the time all the time like everybody is different you know um, but just don't make assumptions that you know people are all good and all well just because they don't moan and complain about it you know be compassionate you know about the fact that we're not all the same and we don't deal with things all the same if that makes sense so just don't make assumptions so that's what i've really really learned to kind of try and master um in my 30s you know and the third thing i want to talk about is spirituality now spirituality is such a big big thing for me now if you don't like this one you can skip if you think it's all hocus pocus that's fine but for me, I believe in like 2020 when there was this pandemic that I had like a spiritual awakening. And like, I can't really explain to you, like if you went on Google and it says spiritual awakening here, I'll link a quote here um, to see what it kind of says, but I'm going to explain it to how it felt for me. So for quite a few years, I felt quite lost. It's like, was I the real April? Like, was that really me? Like, had I forgotten who I was? And when I had this spiritual awakening, it was like, oh, you know i feel free i felt free spirited i felt like now i can concentrate on me you know i didn't even wear makeup for like three four months i was like nope i'm not wearing any makeup i want to concentrate on my skincare i want to find a really good skin routine i started educating myself on skincare products what i should use in the ams what i should use in the pms i'm really really trying to look after me you know i then went on a hair journey i shaved off all my hair i was like i'm done i want to start fresh this is all in 2020 i was like i want to start fresh i'm going to use new oils and find out what works with my hair find out what type of hair i have you know i literally just focused on myself you know what does april need to do for herself you know bringing back my self-love, bringing back my self-worth. Like, it was such a big thing. Even just educating myself about spirituality and the things that come with it. Manifestation, law of attraction, what I put out, you know, what I get in and what my life is like now is because of maybe, you know, my thought process and just really deep in things, you know, is something that I really, really learned in my 30s. I really, really took a different toll, you know, journaling, you know, my crystals, um, you know, my, you know, my thoughts, understanding how powerful my thoughts can actually be, my vibration that I put out, my energy, who I surround myself with, like my energy, yeah, such a powerful thing that is actually not something you can just share and give to anybody, like it's mine and I'm very particular about who i share my energy with do you understand and i was so blasé about all of that in my 20s i wasn't into all of that stuff i was just here i live my best life i went thinking about oh my aura and my spirituality who i surround myself with what oh, no so this was definitely definitely something i learned when i you know entered my 30s okay so the fourth thing that i learned since turning 30 and being in my 30s was how unpredictable life can be life is so unpredictable you know sometimes we beat ourselves up because we're like oh my god i've turned 30 and I haven't done this, this 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 no 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 life is always changing and sometimes there's things that are just out of your control did i expect there to be a pandemic no i did not expect there to be covid do you understand? That was not in my plan. And this is where I learned to just plan three to six months ahead. You know, some people are like, oh, well, I see myself here in five years. I see myself doing this in two years. No, I actually focus on the now and maybe three to six months ahead because you really actually don't know where you're going to be in even three months. You don't even know where you're going to be tomorrow. Do you understand? I've tried to really take that pressure. That pressure the heavy load off my shoulder of thinking i need to have i have accomplished this this and this and that by this time no you know life is too unpredictable and when something is out of your control you can only react to it when it happens there and you just have to think to yourself okay this has happened how can i rectify it or how can i work with this it's trying to work against me but how can i work with this you know that is 
something that I think is very important. <laughs> if anyone watching this video has turned 30 or in their early 30s, please do not get stressed out by the stigmas and the pressure that you're supposed to have everything together by your 30. Like what? This is why people have 30s midlife crisis or the, the 30s blues and they're feeling all overwhelmed because they've hit the big 3 oh and what have I done with my life? Don't stress yourself too much about it, you know? Don't stress yourself. Just work on the three to six months from now what you can do. And I'll give you an example. So, you know, a lot of women, let's be real. Once you get to your 30s, your ex be, hey, okay? And you've always wanted to, you know, get married and have a couple of kids, a couple of children. Right, now, sometimes you kind of have to say to yourself, okay, well, what am I doing about that then? You know, and if you really want this to be something, what can you do in the next three to six months to get yourself on that goal that you want to achieve for yourself? Download a dating app. Maybe go up to meetups, find different Facebook groups, find different events, find things that people like to do, things that you like to do. If you like to go to art galleries, see what art galleries are around. That's just an example. But what I'm trying to say is sometimes we have to, there's a foundation and you have to add the building blocks to it in order for you to get the house, yeah? You know, you've got to put those bricks together, layer them up so that you can get what you want overall. So the fifth thing that I have learned in my 30s is that I actually love my own company. <laughs> I know my mom's gonna bust up at this because listen, when I was in my 20s, I'll be just out, 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 <laughs> gallivanting, going on holidays, having fun and just being around my friends. I love my friends just being out all the time at my friend's house, sleepovers, just always out. And you know, I never actually realized, you know, April, do you actually like your own company? And it wasn't until get in my own place in my 30s that I realized that I love my own company. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I actually love my own company. I love my own space. I love my own peace and serenity. The best feeling in the world is when you just come home to your own place. You know, I put my little one to bed. I snuggle up on my sofa and I've just got my candles lit, my wax melts, even an incense and I just feel so at peace, you know, and I don't mind doing that for days on end. Like, I didn't even think I would be that person that actually might say I prefer staying in than going out. What is that me, April? What? I would have not expected myself to be saying this, you know, mm -mm -mm. but it's actually true. Like, I actually, yeah, I actually really love my own company. I like being within my own thoughts. Um, I like, you know, journaling um i like creating and just doing little bits and bobs like yeah or reading like no man like, i actually really love my own company and that's something that i definitely learned um in my 30s which surprised me so yeah um <laughs> moving on to number six now this one is quite an important one i would say um is tolerance and what i mean by tolerance is that you know in my 30s, I realized that, you know, I mean, I did kind of know this in my 20s, but I think like my expectations and my beliefs were too high and I just used to get myself all worked up about things that could have easily been avoided. Um, but what I mean by tolerance is like, I've realized that no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. You watching this video is not perfect. No one's perfect. We all have flaws. But what I've learned is these people have flaws but can you tolerate these flaws? That's what you kind of have to ask yourself, you know? Because I feel like, you know, in my 20s, I was very drastic with some of the decisions that I made in my life and I probably didn't think through them properly. So I've learned to have more tolerance and to not be so dramatic and drastic with the things that I do and really analyze certain situations over a period of time before saying, okay, peace, I'm out, if that makes sense, you know? And I think, you know, being in my 30s, I realized that there's just some behaviors, qualities, attributions about people that I cannot tolerate and it's just not gonna work me it's like if i'm putting you on the level of sisterhood <laughs> oh 
ah, personal joke. But anyway, if I'm putting you on the level of the sisterhood, you know, I have certain expectations. And for me, if those expectations cannot be fulfilled, then I gotta cut it. I gotta cut it. I gotta cut it. Yeah, I gotta cut it. Um, and the reason being is because, you know, I've gotten older and I really, really, really like to practice what I preach. Um, and I'm the type of person, you know, the type of sister <laughs> in the sisterhood that i don't want to be dramatic but i'm kind of like a ride or die you know it's kind of like if you need me if you say april you ring me and be like pull up or april i need you to do this for me or april i need you to look after my, my son for me or april i need you to look after the kids for me if i'm not working i'm gonna be there yeah if i had something that was even that point i'm dropping that cancelling that and i'm coming straight to you to help you and that's how i would expect my sisterhood people to do the same for me you know so i'm okay with somebody that i put in a category of maybe just a friend or an acquaintance or even a mummy friend that doesn't fulfill those needs that's okay because i haven't put you on that pedestal of the sisterhood you know um so with that being said this is where tolerance comes into it because i'm not going to tolerate those kind of behaviors if you can't do that if i'm putting you up here just that i'm not going to put up with no bs as simple as that uh, but i'm also not going to be drastic at the end of the day you know what i mean i'm also going to try and you know rectify it um be held accountable when i need to be held accountable you know those kind of things anyway let's move on because i think i went deep 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 into um <laughs> tolerance um so the seventh thing that i learned in my 30s is just being more aware so being more aware of the things that i say not overstepping my mark not being out of line um you know knowing when to say things and not when to say things you know saying things that are on my mind but just being aware of when to and when not to so i'll give an example so say a friend of mine i've got two friends and one of them says oh i'm going to the philippines and i'm like oh that's really nice and then in conversation maybe a week or so later i speak with my other friend and she's like oh i've decided to go to the philippines now in my head i could be thinking oh and they know each other by the way yeah they know each other now in my head i could have been thinking oh like are they going to the philippines together like why did they invite me i feel left out no what i would do is once the second one has said oh i'm going to the philippines i'd be like say what are you going to the philippines or blah 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 did you not book this year and kind of get a little bit of clarity a little bit of understanding of maybe what the situation here and i'd say the person's like oh no um no, no i'm going with my own people's this that this that and oh i might end up seeing her out there but no no blah. you know basically what i'm trying to say is being aware of when to say something, when not to say something. So instead of sitting down and thinking and assuming, oh, yeah, they planned that together and they left me out, this, that, this, that, this, that. Why don't you ask? Do you understand? <laughs> Why don't you ask, you know? Don't just let your thoughts eat you alive. Just ask and get it off of your chest because sometimes you make assumptions and usually they're actually always wrong. Like communicating usually gives you the correct answers. Um, so yeah, I've just learned to know when to say things when not to say things um when to keep things to myself when to share things you know i feel like maybe in my 20s i was a bit blah, 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 and it's like no april <laughs> zip it <laughs> zip it sometimes just keep your mouth quiet and just listen you know um but yeah <laughs> um to wrap up this video i can hear my daughter <laughs> She's having a world of a time in the um, living room. Uh, I just want to talk about the final thing um, that I've learned in my 30s and it's quite an important one. And I want you to take this one if you don't even care about all the rest, but to take this one because I think it's very important. And um, it's about not repeating history. And what I mean by that is learning from my mistakes i've tried to learn from my mistakes not repeat history like i believe in growth and i feel like you should always be on the path to trying to better yourself you know some people could say oh you could be on the path to trying to change yourself 
you know and me and one of my close girls we don't really say about changing you know she always used to say to me it's more about improvements yeah you can always make slight improvements about yourself or improvements to better yourself you know and that's something i have constantly been living by since turning 30 and being in my 30s is that i'm not out here trying to do the same stuff that april was doing when she was 25 do you understand I want to know that I have grown as a person from who I was 2022, who I was 2021, and who I am now in 2023. You understand? Like, you should not be in the same predicament or situation that you was finding yourself in last year, especially if it's not a good one. You should be saying, damn, last year I was doing this, but this year I'm doing this. This is what I'm trying to, to follow on basically for the rest of my life is to better myself you know we're not out here trying to repeat history doing the same mistakes making the same full 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 decisions no you know know your worth know what you're capable of push yourself you know drive have that drive have that ambition and i'm not saying you need to have it every day we're humans we are humans but you know we need to be on a journey of bettering who we were the year before and the years and the decades and whatever it is you know and just striving to be a better person you know learning new things about ourselves you know but i would hate to feel like i was stuck in this time loop of where it was like yo april you're stagnant i hate being stagnant like you 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 was in that situation and now you're you're in a similar situation like make it make sense like make it make sense it's all about you know whatever whatever it may be so i realized like your happiness your peace that inner peace inside you is such a big thing you know like you have to feed your soul you have to feed your soul with things that make you happy that make you thrive i'm being so serious <laughs> i'm being so serious you know if something doesn't serve you if something is not in alignment with you and where you want to go then tell it goodbye you are the weakest link, baby. You're the weakest link. Goodbye. You're not going to be out here trying to take me off my path. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, guys, I really, really hoped that you enjoyed this video. As I said, I do apologize for it taking so long to come out. I'm even slightly under the weather, but I didn't want to moan about it at the beginning of the video. Um, but yeah, I've got a slight cold and I'm losing my voice yet again. Um, so yeah, sorry if the video did sound a bit like monotone. Because um, <laughs> I was trying not to shout too much. I had a lovely, lovely um, girls night out on Saturday. So I was, you know, singing all my vocals on the karaoke. Um, so I think that didn't help. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so, so much um, for watching my video until the end. And I just want to say, please, please subscribe, hit that like button, share, comment, you know, let me know which one of your things that I've learned that you liked or that you feel that you have liked as well, like being in your 30s. Even if you're not in your 30s, you might have learned all of this stuff in your 20s. Well, I wish I did, <laughs> but you know, nothing before it's time. But yeah, please comment down below and yeah, just let me know your thoughts. And I will be bringing out another video shortly. So stay tuned for that and I hope you all have an amazing, amazing week and I will definitely, definitely see you in my next video. But thank you so much for watching guys. Bye bye. Thank you.